Hey YouTubers, how you doing? This is 762 by 51 NATO. I want to apologize to you. I, I have a bit of a, a chest cold, one of those good Wisconsin colds you get. And uh, so if I'm uh, coughing and hacking, I apologize. I have here the Taurus Protector Poly in 357, similar to their model 651, except it's in polymer. This one here's got rubber grips uh, ribbed. And uh, I like these grips, feel great in your hand. This comes in three models. This one here is the uh, rubber grips that are ribbed and a blued cylinder. The other one is just like this, but cylinder, uh, but stainless steel cylinder. And then the third one has a stainless cylinder with wood grips, which are or actually, I'm, I'm sorry, they look like wood, but they're polymer. They're actually pretty cool looking, very shiny. I like shiny stuff. Uh, as I said, this one here is in 357. And it's ultralight, it weighs 19.75 ounces. So the recoil on this is all that you would expect from an ultra lightweight handgun in 357. But it is manageable with these grips, very manageable. Now it also comes, let me show you this here. It also comes with these smaller grips. Now I did not get a chance to try these out. And this here is to make it more concealable. Um, I, I did not try them out, but in the in the past, I know I got kind of big hands, and I wouldn't be able to get a whole lot of grip on here. Um, so I know this this here would probably not work out too well for me, um, but I will uh, get a chance to try them out, uh, hopefully in the near future here. The uh, barrel length on this is two inches. Front sight is fixed, fiber optic, and the rear sight is uh, just a, a little notch here. Not a whole lot for the rear sight. I do really like the fiber optic sight, and what I'm, I'm liking a lot of manufacturers, this Taurus included, the front sights, what they're doing is they're, the fiber optic is actually set down slightly, and the top is still squared off, so even if you're not using a fiber optic, you still have a squared off sight. Uh, a black squared off sight, which I really like. It has standard markings, Taurus on a barrel, protector poly on top, hammers low profile, as is the cylinder release, doesn't protrude at all. It's five shot. It's got a, a you know, a, a little bit of a, a long, uh, heavy trigger pull when it's in uh, double action. Single action is really nice. It's got a very nice trigger, single action. Very short, crisp. So, and what I like about the, you know, these, these 357s is that it gives you the firepower of a 357 with the ability to use the 38 Special and 38 Plus P for practice. Or, if you're somebody who doesn't like the recoil of a 357 and can't handle it, then you can still load the 38 Special or 38 Plus P in it. And there's tons of options in ammo um, in the 38 and 357. So, uh, you know, you'll, you'll never, never have a problem finding suitable self-defense ammo or target ammo. There's a lot of choices. Been around for a long time. Very popular. So, overall, you know, it shoots well. Like I said, the recoil is pretty stout on it. But it does shoot very well. I like it. It's, uh, it's pretty accurate considering it's only a 22 inch barrel you know these these uh, short snub nose type handguns revolvers uh, they're not going to be super accurate they're not meant for that it's meant that you know the mission of this is similar to you know like a, a, a compact 380 <coughs> excuse me uh, the mission is similar to a compact 380 it's just a short uh, five foot seven foot eight foot around in there uh, distance. That's all it's meant for. So, and for that, it's plenty accurate. So, I've really enjoyed it. I enjoy shooting it. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Semper Fi.
Here's first shot, second shot, third shot, fourth shot, fifth shot. 